this fitness week here on the Hampton Road Show. Of and we found the perfect place to ride, row, <laughs> run, but don't go too fast or you'll miss the great scenery. Here's this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Well, the yellow lines give away that this once was a road for cars, but these days the Great Dismal Swamp Canal Trail is for just about anything but. I want to introduce you to Letty Luke once again from Chesapeake's Park and Recreations Department. And what a great thing for the city of Chesapeake to have this multi-use trail. That's right, absolutely. It's a wonderful opportunity for citizens to come out and enjoy our eight and a half mile trail here, which people you can come out and go biking and hiking, or uh, if you have a horse, you can go quest. Uh, use your equestrian skills and go horseback riding. Mm -hmm. Just lots of opportunities. Even you, uh, you can come out and skate with your rollerblades. Mm -hmm. So just have a wonderful time and, and get some recreation. Maybe take in a little bit of nature. I mean, Absolutely. there's a lot of wildlife out here. There's a tremendous amount of wildlife out here. There's we have one, uh, lots of giant turtles out here, and and we have uh, raccoons. Anything you see in, in nature will will be here. We have a a strong black bear population, but they won't bother you. Come on out and don't be scared of them. It's just part of the fun. It's part of the fun, that's right. You can go fishing along here as long as you have the proper permits. Yeah. You um, you can come out and, and enjoy the historical sites. This is, was part of the Underground Railroad, if you know a lot, little bit about history. It's a very significant uh, part of American history. Mm -hmm. There's a locks keeper's house that dates back to 1805, uh, when the, this is the, the oldest working lock of its type in the United States. Just a lot of history along here and beautiful sights to see and a great recreational opportunity. So come on out and enjoy it. It is based on an old road bed and it's very wide. It's uh, basically about 25 feet wide uh, all the way down for the eight and a half miles. Uh, if you have young children that want to go out and learn how to bike and, and are still on training wheels or something like that, it's a, it's a very safe place to be. You don't have to compete with cars. Uh, so you're, you're kind of on your own is the, the way you want to do it. And, if you want to take all day and picnic along the way uh, down the trail, you can do that too. Right, the exercise is great. Mm -hmm. I, I feel good after that and sustains me all through the week. I feel good. The whole thing is just gorgeous down here. I look forward to doing this. So, I look forward to your show in the morning too, quite frankly. Well, thank you very much. And let me get in, you know, you may be a higher ups inside. I want to give you an extra boost on that. <laughs> We're not editing any of this out. <laughs> it was nice talking with you. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Take care. You can do that. You have a couple huge events out here, too. We do. We have Swamp Stomp, which brings in about 1,500 to 2,000 runners. And, and we do that in April. I think it's April 14th this year. We have uh, Paddle for the Border, which is a little later in the year, which is May 5th. Uh, we have at least 350 kayakers, canoeists in there. Uh, just a tremendous turnout and everybody loves both of those events. And All right, we'll be sure to let people know where they can get more information about Paddle for the Border or the Dismal Swamp Stop, a half marathon, if maybe folks have set that for a fitness goal, and all the things that are still to come for this one-of-a-kind, one-of-a-kind in the United States. Absolutely. Paved yeah. multi-use trail along the Dismal Swamp Canal. When you visit, make sure you tell them the Hampton Road Show sent you. So if you've been in the area, you know they built a new Route 17. So there was talk about you know, tearing up the old road, and they said, wait a second, let's keep it. So, I mean, it's eight and a half miles, nice and wide, nice and straight. If you've got kids learning how to ride a bike that can't handle a lot of twists and turns and things like that, it's a great place to come down. I've got one. All right. <laughs> I know you got one. You've got Watch a couple out for the of bears, bears. right? That's it. But you know what? I asked Bob, my new agent, <laughs> uh, if he had ever seen bears out there, and he said he's seen a bear three times, and he said, really, you know, he stops and looks at them, and they look at him, and then they, you know, go about wow. their business, and he keeps pedaling along. That's mm. got to be rare. Yeah, I know. They're going to renovate that box keeper's cabin, too, so stay oh, tuned cool. for that. that. That will probably be a postcard in itself in the future. But thanks to the city of Chesapeake for that. Very nice. good.